Hi, I'm Dr. Katie Nelson here with PetMD to give veterinarian approved guidance for your pet care questions. Diane wants to know how to give daily insulin shots to her yellow lab. That's a great topic, Diane. Let's get to it. Dogs develop type one diabetes, which happens when their pancreas no longer produces enough insulin. Cats get type two diabetes, typically associated with obesity, and they don't always need insulin. Insulin is an important hormone used by the body's cells to absorb glucose, the small sugar molecules that power them. Without it, cells can't create enough energy, blood sugar increases, and your pet may experience symptoms like excessive thirst, increased urination, weight loss, decreased appetite, cloudy eyes, and chronic infections. The good news? Diabetes can be diagnosed with a simple blood test and controlled through prescribed daily insulin injections and regular checkups with your veterinarian. So, on to the shot. First, have everything you need ready to use, including your refrigerated insulin vial, an alcohol wipe, your insulin syringe, and a sharps container to safely dispose of the used needle. It's also helpful to have a low-carb treat on hand to distract your pet while you administer the insulin. Speaking of treats, it's very important that you feed your pet before administering the insulin. Most will need insulin twice a day, so they'll get their injections with their morning and their evening meals. Charlie here doesn't need insulin, but he's here with us today to help demonstrate how to administer a dose. So first, take the vial between your hands and roll it until the insulin appears uniform in color and consistency, like this. Next, clean the top of the insulin vial with an alcohol wipe. Then press the syringe needle into the bottle and draw up the prescribed amount of insulin. Be careful not to touch the needle. You want to gently pinch an area of loose skin on your pet's back, like a little tent. A good spot is right here between the shoulder blades. If your pet has longer hair like Charlie, you may need to part the hair to make sure that you hit your target. Insert the needle into the center of the skin fold, then gently push the plunger all the way down to dispense the insulin. Carefully withdraw the needle and dispose of the used syringe in your sharps container. And you're done. Now, remember to put the vial back in the refrigerator. Insulin should be stored at consistent temperatures between 36 and 46 degrees. Now, if you forget to give a dose and your pet has eaten recently, give it when you remember. But if it's almost time for their next dose, skip the missed one and never give extra or double doses. Since insulin lowers blood sugar, keep an eye out for common side effects like weakness, shaking, fatigue, or hunger. These usually improve with an additional meal. If more serious symptoms like disorientation, vomiting, or seizures occur, please call your veterinarian immediately. With proper treatment and monitoring by both you and your veterinarian, your diabetic pet can live a happy, healthy life. For PetMD, I'm Dr. Katie, and this is Charlie. Thanks for the questions, and please keep them coming. Also, we'd love to hear from you, so like this video, drop a comment, and subscribe for more pet questions that answers. Thanks for watching.